certainly has a strong Strictly resume. It's Goka the Coca. My first show on the street, I think, has still been one of the most memorable moments. I stood up in the middle of the red carpet looking around and thinking, oh, wow, this is real. I am on the street, like I'm dancing. I felt like a rock star. It was such a cool moment. I loved it. <laughs> My first year on the street, I was partnered with the hilarious Tomika. She's the one giving me the stage name, Goka the Coca. I got myself a Coca here. <laughs> Thanks for that, Tomika. I think she helped me a lot to bring out my personality and show how funny and hilarious I am, because I am, uh, I think. We only managed to get to Movie Week, but it was my first strictly love, like we say, and I will never forget her. So year two, Alexandra Bird. From day one, I already knew that she has so much potential, you know? Week four, we performed the jive on the night. She was a little bit nervous, and then she turns around, looks at me, and her eyes change. You know, like when you see like a tiger. So I thought, you better go, because she's gonna go for it. As a teacher, it was incredible, because you wanna do something cool, creative, that everyone remembers. Great number. In the quarterfinals with the Charleston, you had better swivel than Gorka in that, actually. Nine! Obviously, I'm sure that nine was because of my swivel. Thanks, darling. Love. Semi-final was the salsa, and we go over 40. Ten! And I was so excited. I think everyone went bananas. You happy? Very happy! <laughs> yeah. Even after two dance-offs, yeah. we get all the way to the final. I wanted to make it special for her to enjoy the last time that we were going to be dancing on the dance floor. It was incredible. I was so proud to be part of that final. And I will always remember that forever. My third year was partnered with the lovely Katie Piper. Katie was really inspiring and she opened my view of how to approach life. Seeing her growing as a dancer and her confidence week by week, it was just very special to me. Sadly, we only managed to go all the way to week four, but we're still in touch, and it's someone very special to me. I love Katie. Being in a bubble with Maisie was like hanging out with a sister. You know, we get on so well. It was like dancing with a professional. Samba week one for me was tense. Week two, I never seen a tango like that on a strictly. I think the judges were tight on tense that year. But we go our first tense for our quick step, which I loved. It was one of my favorite dances. Week four and week five, we were on the dance of. It was tough to pick up ourselves after that, but we did well. Bring it. Our couple's choice and I have to do hip hop, which I never done in my life. She looks like the pro and I look like the celebrity. But I think I did okay. We make it all the way to the final. It really pay off all the sacrifices that we did. I think she's gonna be a friend for life. Four years, two finals, 50% efficient. Huh? Not bad, eh? So this year I have the lovely Katie McLean. My favorite dance with Katie has to be me being a Dalmatian. I think that was the most iconic moment. It was just great. I met Gemma in 2017. She didn't dance with me, she danced with Aliash. We just became very good mates. And I think that was the key, because we were friends before everything happened. And now we have a beautiful daughter. Without Strictly, I will never meet Gemma. I think she's the best person in the world. She inspires me every day. She makes me a better man, better person, better everything. And I'm just grateful to have her and call her my fiance. Oh my God.
Do you go back to that kid in high school when the teacher used to tell me, oh, stop dancing because you won't be able to make a living of a dance? Look where I am now. For me, it's my life, and I will never change anything. Well, we are so lucky to have you, Gorks. Now, it